little thing, it's just a small thing we take before the break, um, which is taking this into play now. This is the basic result, but we are having the first step in making this something usable for us, to make it an operational thing that we can use for being intelligent about how to look at an average. That's what I've claimed throughout. Now, first I repeat, first we repeat the central limit theorem as said before. The idea is, you could say, that when, you could also call this, you could call this the standardized, standardized error, in a way, if you want. This is the error you make, and it's standardized to, uh, to be, have a standard deviation of one, actually. The idea is that when we know this is a normal distribution, we're going to use the normal distribution probabilities to say something about the error or the maximal possible error. That's the idea. And we use the name maximal po possible error when we take these percentiles in the standard normal. It is called set alpha half because there is alpha half probability out here and similarly alpha half probability down there. Very often this is two and a half percent, two and a half percent, alpha being five percent, that's a common choice as we've discussed, meaning that we have one minus alpha in the middle, often 95 percent. And uh, so this is a tool that we basically take the standard normal percentiles and then we multiply them with the noise factor, or you could say the standard deviation factor of our estimate. Meaning that, so we take, we go from the standard scale to our estimate scale, to the scale of our, where we are working, right? Like we did two weeks ago. So we use the standardized and we're gonna try this before we do a nice break in this little example. First of all, let's answer the first question. We could have done that, as I said already last time. What is really the variance of this one? Well, I have now claimed this result a number of times during today's lecture. Since I assume still that I know the variance, it should be computed like this, right? Let me do the hand calculations in R. I prepared that I could do, bup, 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 bup. Share this with you, of course. We could do this calculation. I take 0.2 squared divided by 25, right? That's the variance of that I was asked to find. It is 0 0.0016. 0 0.0016. Let's now compute this maximal error of the thing that we're going to face here. Let's compute the 95% maximal error according to the rule that means that alpha equals 0 0.05. That means we need to find the 2.5% percentiles of the standard normal. What is the 2.5% percentile of the standard normal? If there is one percentile in this course, you should remember this is it. This is on the top of the top five list of percentiles that you know by heart when you uh, come out of this course. Don't you remember it? Thank you. It can be found by Q norm or by table three, or in fact, also in table four, as I will show you later in the next lecture. Times 0 0.02 divided by square root 25. Right? Here's the 95% maximal error. I made this computation here. And I achieve 0 0.0, 0 0.0784, right? Let's just also find this one. Now, if I want to be more certain about where I am, if I want to claim with a higher certainty, a higher probability, a higher confidence, is the word we're gonna use later. Do you think that the maximal error sort of um, will be larger or 
smaller. This is kind of, this has, and this one has a liter per 100 kilometer interpretation, right? This is the, the unit of the system that we're looking into. What about a 99%? Are we going to be m more or less, or rather, I should say, we, we want to be more certain, but what about the size of the maximal possible error then? You think? Is it going up? Is it being larger? Yes. yes. Is it going small, going down? Going small, blah, blah. Is it be becoming smaller? And no one, yes, yeah. Let's try then. We need, alpha would then be 0 0.1, 1%, right? So we need the half percent point times sigma over root n. So it's, of course, the same number here. What about the half percent point in the dis Well, you are, you are right, of course. If I go look for the Q norm, let me emphasize it here. What is the point in the normal distribution having 99.5% to the left of it? That is half a percent to the right of it, right? Which in the book is known as set superscript subscript 0.005, as I've just put in my slide. Of course, we need to go further out to achieve a lower probability at the end, a higher probability within the range. And that is then 2.576. So you were right. Let's just finally get at the number. I put computation of the number here. 0.103, relatively, 0.103, Relatively considerably larger, actually, almost a 50% increase of, of the sort of maxim, size of the maximal error, right? So, so a, a very a large increase, actually, if we want to be as, as certain as 99%. That was a step one of an operational tool for putting probability into our looking at the value of the average. Now, in terms of something that we call, this is, we, we cannot say this is the error. Because we don't know, it's a random system. We could say, this is the maximal error with 95% certainty, with 95% confidence. OK, we're going to take it a bit further. Question? Um, am I reading it correctly if it says in the E0.95 that it's 1.96 divided by a square root of 5? Sorry, would you repeat that? I didn't get, get the last part. Uh, it's, it says 1.96 divided by a square root of 5, right? Yes, here it says, you're asking about this formula here. It says 1.96 times 0 0.02 divided by square root 25. Yeah, so it's the square root 25 would be 5. So if you take the, the thing 1.96 divided by 5, it would be below 0 and the times it with 0 0.02, uh, um, I don't think the result. It's not below 0, it's below 1, right? Yeah, below one. But so you take something below one and, and times it with something and get a higher result. No. I don't think uh, we can we can check the R thing. Do we agree that it's uh, that we should take? This one, I just want to check. We, we were discussing whether I made some kind of uh, error here, either in writing up the formula or making the computation. That's what you're, you're, uh, you're wondering about. We should take in the formula. The decimal mistake, which one? Let me see. Oh, now I see where at least I identified one mistake here, yes. I identified the thing that I wrote 0.02, thank you. The proper thing should be, let me be exact here. Thank you for letting me know. 0.2 and 0.2, right? And I think my numbers are correct. Do we agree there? Yeah. 
because I used the correct numbers in my prepared R uh, note here. Are we okay there now? Thank you. Good, thanks for that. Okay, let's uh, do the break then, 15 minutes. Huh.